Our little pussycat's been having a rough time with all this reworking and backworking in the last few years, hasn't he? To counter him, pick someone like Echo for his mobility and large stun area. Lee Sin can reveal him with his E whenever he's camouflaged and kick him away before he's trouble. And Skarner can win fights if he tanks it up a bit and remove him from the fight before he gets the squishies. Zack for his ultimate, Jax for his tankiness as well as damage, and Pantheon for his leap jump make other good counters as well. Rengar's passive makes him leap whenever he's attacking someone from an unseen brush or from his camouflage. It also makes him stack ferocity, which empowers his next ability at its consumption when it's full. And it also grants him trophies per unique takedown for extra AD. His Q grants him extra attack speed for his next two autos and also extra damage and range. When Ferocity is stacked, it gets extra damage and attack speed for a longer period of time. His W passively makes him store half of the damage he takes as gray health and when activated, it will deal magic damage around him and also heal back. When Ferocity is stacked, it deals more damage and also cleanses. His E makes him throw a bola slowing enemies and dealing damage. As always, it gets extra damage when Ferocity is stacked and roots for a longer duration instead of slowing. Finally, his ultimate will make him camouflage for up to 20 seconds and also grant him extra movement speed. Attacking or casting ends this and his first attack will reduce enemy armor as well as gain extra damage. You'll most likely find him in the jungle, in which case he'll take the smite flash combo, which you are most likely taking as well. And as always, in terms of power spikes, he's an assassin which makes him quite deadly in the mid game and especially annoying to squishies in the late game. Dustblade is enough to make any ADC cry, to be honest, but the warrior enchantment grants him a small power spike whenever he finishes it too. Level 3 makes his game a lot more powerful and level 6 will allow him to come and gank from wherever he wants to so stock up on pinks and such. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, you can track his stacking progress on top of him so avoid fighting if you must, try not to fight him near brushes because of his leap and extra damage and you and your allies are notified of his nearby presence so clump up together to protect squishies as best as you can when he ults. Ultimately, have fun doing it!